Okay guys, so back at the job um, with the Zappi. This one here. Obviously had the Wi-Fi issues. So I've just, um, I've worked out how to do it with, um, so on, on the app it does, it does sort of tell, it does give you instructions to do it, but it's not as clear as you would expect it to be. But, so I just to run you through what I've had to do. So when you normally, so if you go into, uh, so when you put it on, you get to the internet, you go into Wi-Fi, push plus, uh, Wi-Fi config, the Wi-Fi is on, you go into WPS activate, and what I was doing um, is saying Wi-Fi connected, but basically it would say push, push the WPS uh, on the router and then connect to the unit and, and push the plus button and it should connect. It wasn't doing that whatsoever. So what I've had to then do, is go into uh, what was I in? No, that one. Um, so if you go into Wi-Fi, it basically puts out its own little Wi-Fi signal network, offline network, like you would do your home router. Um, so if you search in the Wi-Fi, put that that number in and that part that password that it gives you on there. And then, when you go into that, it will ask you to, um, it was just saying that the setting, settings were locked and it was prompting me to go back to the Zappi and go into the advanced menu and reset the thing. So I don't know why I needed to do that, but anyway, that's what it's telling me. So, to do that, you go, come out the internet, go into advanced, push plus button, uh, these all come defaulted at uh, zeros. So, and then go to system, and then go to reset Wi-Fi config. You go onto that, it will reset the Wi-Fi, and then what will do to the, on the Wi-Fi network of the Zappi, it will ask you to change the password. So you just put a password in. Uh, obviously remember, I'll put one of my own ones in, I'll save it, um, and it's something I'll give to the customer. Uh, and if they need to change it, they can change it, but they'll have access to that. So you put a password in, and then it brings up, like you would expect, um, a list of Wi-Fi networks in the area. You can select the customer's network, and then put the password in, and hey presto, you're back. So when you go back into the settings, um, you go into internet, when you come back out here to check it, you know, to Wi-Fi, status is connected. So that's how you, um, it's a little bit more long-winded. Obviously, now I've done one, it's a lot easier. When you do the first one, you just expect it to just work and, and be simple. But um, yeah, I think there's a lot of issues where um, people are in the same boat as me and they're just trying to call my energy because there's at least, I tried calling them as you do, um, it's like a five minute wait, but no one ever answers, so you go to leave a message. So I tried about three or four times and um, hold for five minutes, no one's ever answered. So I reckon there's a lot of issues with the version two where people are not understanding of the, um, the, the product and how to work the menu system. Um, when they should have released a bit of an online training, maybe emailed all the installers um, with, the, with the procedure rather than do this on site to waste money time and money so obviously I've spent probably over about an hour mucking about with this in total um, so and there was three of us here the last time trying to get it working but anyway that's the workaround that's how you get it uh, back on online it should work for um, every time you do that in theory it seems pretty simple now I know how to do it uh, exactly if there's a problem then uh, it, it's not a problem so um, great Thanks for watching guys, see you later.